This is caffeine, and most people use caffeine wrong. They treat it like a jolt, a way to fight through fatigue, when it could be something much more powerful. Because caffeine alone doesn't create clean focus. It gives you energy, yes, but also tension, spikes, jitters, crashes. But what if your coffee didn't have to come with friction? There's a simple way to turn your daily cup of coffee into something smoother, calmer, and more sustainable. And no, I'm not trying to convince you to buy my coffee. I'm teaching how to use any coffee better. This is a way that actually supports your brain's natural rhythm instead of fighting it. Taylor Swift uses this for stress. Andrew Huberman uses it for deeper focus, and so do I. But 90% of people still don't know it exists. Once you try it, you'll never go back. We built an entire culture around artificially stimulating the brain to squeeze more out of ourselves. Adderall, modafinil, an energy drink, another cup of moldy coffee. Caffeine isn't just popular, it's the most trusted performance enhancer in the world. The Center for Addiction and Mental Health calls it the most widely used psychoactive substance in the world. And the National Institutes of Health confirms caffeine is the most consumed psychoactive drug globally. It works by blocking adenosine, the chemical that tells your brain it's tired. That makes you feel awake, alert, and ready to go. But when you don't use caffeine right, that added energy comes with a cost. You get the jitters, the tension, and a hard crash on the other side so you crave another cup. This is what the majority of us experience, and it's why coffee and caffeine sometimes have a bad reputation. But as you're about to see, these aren't the bad guys. Then there are stronger stimulants like Adderall. They don't just block tiredness, they flood your brain with dopamine and norepinephrine, which hijacks your motivation system. And over time, that flood rewires your brain. Everyday tasks lose their meaning. You stop focusing, not because you want to, but because you're forced to. And that's the real problem. We've been taught that more stimulation equals better focus, but that's not how the brain works. You don't need to spike your brain, you need to support it. That's why high performers from musicians to athletes to Hollywood celebrities add one powerful molecule to their coffee. When you combine it with caffeine, it delivers energy without the crash, focus without the stress, and mental clarity without the chaos. This molecule modulates the effects of caffeine, which smooths out the cortisol spikes and the anxious energy a lot of people feel after their morning cup. It's called L-theanine, and it's about to change the way you think about focus. L-theanine works quietly, but powerfully to give you something unique, focus without the friction. Researchers in the Asia Pacific Journal of Clinical Nutrition published a study that found L-theanine significantly increases activity in the alpha frequency band. These brainwaves occur during deep meditation and flow states, as you can read about in my book, Heavily Meditated. You can think of it like that pill in the movie Limitless. It doesn't give you actual superhuman focus, but it's definitely on that spectrum and you'll wish you found it sooner. And the real magic of l is how it redefines what focus feels like. We're used to associating focus with tension, with furrowed brows, clenched jaws, and jittery tunnel vision. But l doesn't hype you up. It holds you steady. You stay zoned in, not because you're overwhelmed, but because you're unbothered. That's why it's a favorite among musicians and coders and writers and high performers. It helps you drop into flow without feeling like you need to force it. And there's no crash, no addiction loop, no rewired reward system making ordinary life empty and boring. Just calm, clear, sustainable mental performance, the way your brain naturally operates. But if l is so great, why haven't you felt its benefits before or heard someone talk about it like this? Because the way most of us consume it through green tea barely scratches the surface. A standard cup of green tea only has 20 to 30 milligrams of l -theanine. But to feel its true effects, you need a functional dose, 100 to 200 milligrams and sometimes even more. That's the range where it improves attention, memory, and emotional regulation. Researchers in nutritional neuroscience published a study that found l significantly improved attention, performance, and reaction time response in healthy adults prone to high anxiety. And when you combine it with caffeine in a two to one ratio, something powerful happens. It smooths out the cortisol spikes and anxious energy many people can feel from coffee, and it extends caffeine's benefits. And one of the most surprising benefits is better sleep. A group of researchers published a study in the journal Nutrients and found L-theanine may have a soothing effect on the central nervous system. That's because it activates the GABA system in your brain, the part responsible for calm, balance, and restorative sleep. In fact, I took 300 milligrams last night. You wake up clear, calm, and sharp like your brain just took a cold shower. Everyone's chasing that limitless pill, but what if it already exists, just not the way you imagined? Not a rush, not a high, just calm, collected focus. 
that's what Elthini gives you. It's not superhuman, it's just you operating without resistance. Try it once, you'll never go back. <laughs>